Welcome to Learn Electronics India. In this video, we are going to program an LCD display using a different method. Generally, while programming, we use the inbuilt library of the Arduino called the liquidcrystal.h library. But have you ever wondered how this library actually works on the packet so that we can display anything on the LCD with ease? So, in this video, we are going to use bit manipulation to program our Arduino to display any message on the LCD screen. So, first of all, let's see what is bit manipulation and how it can be implemented using some bitwise operators. Bit manipulation Bit manipulation is the process of applying logical operations on a sequence of bits to achieve a required result. It is an act of algorithmically manipulating bits or the other pieces of data that are shorter than a word. There are different bitwise operations used in bit manipulation. These bit operations operate on the individual bits of the bit patterns. Bit operations are fast and can be used in optimizing time complexity. So let's see these bit operators. So first is the bitwise NOT. Bitwise NOT is a unary operator that means that it only takes one operand that is single input and it flips the bits of number. That is, if the nth bit is 0, it will change it to 1 and vice versa as you can see in the table here. Bitwise NOT is nothing but simply the ones complement of a number. So let's see an example. 5 can be written in binary as 101. So the complement of 5 can be written as 010. Here, from the left hand side, 1 changes to 0, 0 changes to 1 and again 1 changes to 0. So next operator is the bitwise AND operator. Bitwise AND is a binary operator that means it takes two opt-ins or two inputs. Bitwise AND operates on two equal length bit patterns. Therefore, if both bits in the compared position of the bit patterns are 1, then the bit in the resulting pattern is 1, otherwise 0. You can see the table of the bitwise AND here. So, let's take an example. We take A equals to 5. 5 in binary can be written as 101 and B as 3 which in binary can be written as 011. So let's take a bitwise AND. From the left side, 1 and 0 gives us 0, 0 and 1 gives us 0 again and 1 and 1 only gives us 1 so we get 1. Next is the bitwise OR operator. It is also a binary operator which means it takes two operands or two inputs and operates on two equal length bit patterns similar to bitwise AND but is slightly different as we know how OR operation works. Therefore, if both bits in the compared position of the bit pattern are 0, the bit in the resulting bit pattern is also, also 0, otherwise 1 as you can see in the table here. So let's take an example again, 5 in binary is written as 101 and 3 in binary is written as 011. So A or B gives us 111 which is 7. Next is the bitwise left operator. Left shift operator is a binary operator which shifts the sum number of bits in the given bit pattern to left and append 0 to the end. So this shifts the bit to the left and in the end appends a 0 or puts a 0. So let's see an example. 0011 should be shifted to the left by 1 bit. So it can be written as 0100. Now again 0010 should be shifted left by 2 bits. So it can be written as 1000. Next is the right shift operator. The right shift operator is a binary operator again. It shifts some number of bits in a given bit pattern to the right and append 1 at them. So here in the example 0011 should be shifted right by 1 bit. So it can be written as 0001. And again 
zero zero one one should be shifted by two bits to the right, so it should be written as zero 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 zero. So these are the bitwise operations here. Next, we'll see the circuit diagram of the LCD that we are going to program. Now this is the circuit diagram. Let's see how the data pins are connected. The data pin six seven is connected to the second pin of the Arduino. Data pin six is connected to the third pin of the Arduino. Data pin five is connected to the fourth pin of Arduino, and data pin four is connected to the fifth pin of the Arduino. These four pins are not connected here because we are operating in a four bit mode. Then the enable pin is connected to the eleventh pin of the Arduino. And the RS pin, the register select pin, is connected to the twelfth pin of the IDE. The read-write pin is connected to the ground because we are only writing, not reading from the LCD. So, next we are connecting the VCC to the positive terminal five volt and ground to the ground of the IDE, and connecting the contrast to the potentiometer to see the contrast of the LCD beam to make it dim or to make it light. Then we are connecting the LED cathode to power it with the negative terminal and LED anode to the positive terminal with the resistor. Code here. First of all, we will write hash include string dot h to include the string library. Then we will define these pins. On the Arduino pins, first is the register command pin, which is connected to the twelfth pin of the Arduino. The enable pin to the eleventh pin of the Arduino. The data pin four at the fifth pin of Arduino. Data pin five at the fourth pin of Arduino. Data pin six at the third pin of Arduino, and data pin seven at the second pin of Arduino. Now let's go straight to the void setup function. In the void setup function, we will first initialize the pin modes of the different pins. The RS enable data pin four, five, six, seven as output pins. Then we will give a delay of one fifty microseconds. Then go to the LCD initialize. Here the LCD initialize function is written here, which is used to initialize the LCD and set it for set it up for the working. First of all, we will write LCD command write zero comma zero x three two. We will later come to this how this function works. But first, we'll see what is the meaning of these commands here. So, the zero x three two command is to send the four bit initialization of the LCD. Zero x two eight is used to do print that we are going to use two rows and sixteen columns of the LCD in the four bit mode. Then zero x zero one to clear the display screen. Zero x zero seven to display on and cursor off of the screen. 0x06 to increment cursor or shift cursor to the right, and 0x80 to set that the cursor on the beginning of the first line. So this ends the void initialize function. We will later come to this how this LCD command write function works. So next is the LCD write. One comma this is a sample message. So this is the message that we are trying to print on the LCD. And we are also giving an argument one, which we will see just how this works. So, let's go to the LCD write. In the LCD write, there are two arguments. One is int select, and second is a pointer data L. We are taking this as a pointer because we want to keep this as flexible. We don't know what will be the length of the message. This message can be short enough for only five word letters, or can be as long as ten to twelve to fifteen letters. So we take a pointer. Next, we will declare a variable character data. Then int length equals to string length of data. L. We are going to find out the length of this message and store it in the variable length. Then we are going to come in the for loop here. We will initialize i equals to zero and i is less than length of this message i plus plus. Then if i equals to sixteen, LCD command write zero comma zero x c zero. So here, this means that we know 
an LCD display screen 16x2. The 16 means it has 16 columns and two rows. Therefore, if the message is longer than 16 columns there, so it should shift to the second row of the LCD. So if I equals to 16, that means if it is the 16th letter, it should shift to the second line of the LCD. So data equals to data L of I. This means that for the pointer data L in which this is a sample message was stored. The first I equal here I equals to zero. This means this equals to zero. So the first letter T should go in the data variable cat data variable. So therefore in data T is stored now. Right. And we also know that T in binary can be written as this 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0. So next we will do the digital write RS comma select. We already know what is the function of digital write. RS here comma select which means that the value of select will be given to the RS. Here the value of select was 1. Here. This means that we are going to write data, not a command in the RS pin here. So first of all, let's see the working of this data, how we are going to transmit the first letter T into the data pins. First of all, we will write digital write D4, like we are going to write in D4 pin data bitwise AND operation with this binary number and bitwise write shift 4. So let's see is working. We know as T in binary gives 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. We will write it here. And we are doing an AND operation with 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So we will write it here. After performing an AND operation, we get this as output. Now we have to right shift it by 4. So this means that if we right shift it by 4, we get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Or in other words, you can also write it as 1. So, with this, we get the fourth binary letter. Like we know a binary is binary number is made up of 8 bits. So, this is the fourth bit here. Fourth high order bit. Similarly, if we do this data 0, 1, 0 and add it with this number, we get 0, 0, 0, which gives us 0, which is the fifth data bit. Now similarly we do it with this here we get 0 1 0 0 0 0 0. So this means after right shifting it we get here a 1 which is the sixth bit. Then similarly here we get 0 as bit 7. So after seeing it 0 1 0 1. So these gives us the four high order data bits, which are 0, 1, 0, 1. So as you can see, there is some similarity here, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This means we have transferred first four high order bits of the letter T to the LCD. Now we will write digital write E equals to high and digital write E equals to low, which means we are latching the enable pin to give the data from the Arduino to the data bits and print it on the screen. Now, these are only the first four data bits. What about the second four, uh, last four data bits? Similarly, we will write this function here. We will do an AND operation with this binary number and do a shift of this. Again, similarly here. And we will get the respective data bits. The bit 0, bit 1, bit 2 and bit 3. Now, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this gives us the four lower order bits, which is 0, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, B7 to B0 gives us 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is T, as you can see here. So this means that T is printed on the LCD display. So this is how the LCD works in a 4-bit mode. Now we will also write digital write E equals to high and digital write E equals to low. This means that we are latching the enable pin and sending the data to the LCD pin to display it. Now, we have seen this function how LCD write works. In the similar way, LCD write command works. 
but the difference is that the select pin here is not one here it is zero because we are going to write a command not a data for the rs pin when it is given a high it writes data and when it is given zero it gives the command so similarly in the same pattern we write the hex decimals here which is converted into binary and we write it here and give the command similarly so this is how this this code works in the void loop function we do not write anything so this is how this code works also here we have only written t first here but after i equals to goes to 1 after i plus plus before i here 1 is h in a similar way h is printed on the lcd and this code goes on till we reach to the end of length of this message which is e Now let's see the working of this code. Let's start simulation. And here we see this is a sample message. Now let's change this message here. Now let's see how this works. here we get learn electronics in here so in this way you can change this message here and write anything on your lcd screen So in this video we learned how the bitwise operators work what is bit manipulation and we also interfaced the led and made it work using bitwise manipulations So thank you for watching this video if there you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please like and subscribe and share thank you